Okay, the next we look at is the uh, liberalization bill. Now, the main proposal behind the bill uh, is basically, as its name, to liberalize the sector and promote uh, fair competition among different schemes. Other roles include the regulation of the activities of mandatory and voluntary schemes in the private and public sector, but also to provide for transfer of accrued uh, this is an, an innovation that we didn't have under existing law, a transfer of accrued benefits from one scheme to another, that at any point you can decide to move your savings from one scheme to the other, for reasons based on yourself. But of course, for the most part, you want a scheme that is going to guarantee you maximum benefits at return. Okay, we take a snapshot at the substantive provisions, um, just like it was under the NSF Act, employees um, or employers are required to remit monthly contributions on behalf of the employees to licensed schemes be, be, uh, before the 15th day of the month. Um, there's a penalty associated if you don't transfer on the 15th day. I think you pay 10% of the amount to you. But also funds are to be held in trust and subject to audit by the Auditor General. So this also brings these schemes into the ambit um, of government, strong government regulation, because the Auditor General has to um, audit the accounts or appoint another auditor that can uh, audit those accounts. And again, this takes us back to Article 41. It means that at one point or another, this information will be held by government. Therefore, if the schemes are not willing to provide this information, I can still use Article 41. Um, that, of course, depends on the will of the Auditor General to access that particular information. Uh, the Board of Trustees is also required to maintain accounts in respect of every employee, so every contributor must have a specific account. Uh, but they also permit mid-term access, uh, and that's all with the minimum five employees requirement for eligibility. That if you've been contributing for 10 years, you can access funds, I think not more than 30 uh, percent, but strictly for purposes of securing a mortgage uh, for a residential house, a residential property. Uh, the other alternative, when you can access funds under the, uh, the proposed bill is if you hit, I think, 45, um, you, must, you can then access uh, some of 30 percent of your savings. Uh, every scheme is also required to provide members with an annual statement of account. So uh, at the end of every other year, you're supposed to be given a statement showing how your contributions have varied over the 12 months. Uh, this is supposed to be uh, delivered to your place of work or any other address provided. Uh, schemes are also required to maintain a ledger of unallocated balances uh, where contributions of members that can't be found should be deposited. So at the end of uh, a year or a number of years, uh, if the scheme finds that it's in possession of funds whose contributors cannot be traced, they are required to uh, deposit this on an, on an allocated balance account. And now, this must also be published in the newspaper of wide saturation um, and or gazette, again, to let people know um, that uh, their contributions are being held in the suspect's account.